This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the Kato Round electric installation tool. Let's begin by reviewing each component. This is the transformer. In the back you'll find the connection for the power cord. Turning the transformer to the front, plug the electric driver cable here. Turn the cable so that the white indicator dot is facing up. This will be the proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable in place. To the right, there is an on-off switch with a light indicator just above it. Next to that, you'll find the high-low switch. Please note that for all installation of coil thread inserts, always use the low setting. The next component is the electric drivers. This is the SB400C electric driver. It is capable of installing inserts up to and including some A32 and M5 inserts. This is the SB650C electric driver. It is used for installing sizes A32, M5, and larger. Although the SB650 is larger, the controls and functions are identical to the SB400C. For the remainder of this video, we'll use the SB400C. Plug the cable that leads to the transformer in the back. Once again, the white dot will indicate proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable. Here, you have the trigger, and on the back there is a switch for forward and reverse. This is an automatic reversing tool, but in case you ever need to use the manual reverse, here is the switch. Towards the front, you will find the torque adjusting nut. It controls how much torque is applied before the driver automatically reverses. Turn it clockwise to tighten or increase the torque, and counterclockwise to loosen or decrease the torque. At the front is the keyed chuck. Turn the chuck counterclockwise to open and then slide the mandrel into the chuck. Turn the chuck clockwise to tighten and use the chuck key to lock the mandrel in place. To remove the mandrel, use the chuck key and turn counterclockwise to release the mandrel. The final component is the insulation mandrel assembly. This is the part you'll swap out for insert type and different thread sizes. The Cotto Round Electric tool can install both tangless and tanged inserts. Here we have two different mandrels. This one is for tangless and this one is for tanged. Here is the adjusting sleeve that will control installation depth. Use the lock nut to tighten the adjusting sleeve. Inside the tangless mandrel is the spring-loaded pivoting pawl. This is the part that will grab the insert and drive it into the STI tapped hole. The tang mandrel has a drive contour that will grab hold of the tang and drive the insert into the STI tapped hole. Now we'll demonstrate how to set the correct insulation depth using the tangless insulation mandrel. The procedure is the same for tanged. Thread the insert all the way onto the mandrel until it stops. Next, turn the adjusting sleeve until it is about one thread behind the last coil. And then tighten the lock nut using the wrenches that are included with the tangless tool. Now that the depth is set, we are ready to install some inserts. With the insulation mandrel and the electric driver, hold the tool perpendicular to the hole so that it is straight and avoid holding it at an angle. This could cause the insulation to fail and may damage the insulation mandrel. Always use the minimum amount of torque that will install the insert. Begin with a very low torque setting. This will cause the driver to automatically reverse before the insert fully installs. Press the trigger to activate the electric driver. Note the insert started to enter the hole, but the driver reversed automatically because the torque wasn't enough. Turn the torque nut 180 degrees or half a turn and try again. Repeat this process until the insert fully installs. It is very important to remember this is an auto reversing tool. Once you press the trigger, do not release it. After the insert is installed, the mandrel will bottom out and cause the electric driver to reverse. Continue to hold the trigger until the mandrel exits the installed insert completely. Releasing the trigger will reset the tool and pressing the trigger again will cause the tool to turn clockwise. If you accidentally release the trigger early, simply press it again and the tool will re-enter the installed insert, bottom out, and reverse. Alternatively, you can flip the forward reverse button on the driver to the reverse position. 
but be sure to flip the button back to the forward position before attempting to install the next insert. With the torque and depth adjusted correctly, we'll install some more inserts. Please note, due to variations in the tapped holes, it may be necessary to increase the torque once more during production use. As you can see, the Cottle Round Electric tool is fast, clean, quiet, easy to set up, and easy to use. It's ideal for medium to high volume users. Thank you for watching the Cotto Round Electric Tool video.